This rather unusual story is about the ghost of Mr Harrington which was witnessed at the same time by more than one person in Pelsall Village Bakery in 1955. In most cases, ghosts are only seen by one person. However, on rare occasions, a ghost is witnessed at the same time by more than one person. The following is such a case, which was shared with me back in 2002 by a gentleman called Mr Bob Sawyer. In 1955, Bob Sawyer was training as an apprentice for Mr Cumberledge, who owned the village bakery at the time. Bob worked there with his brother Ray and Tom Osborne. During this time, the bakery was situated to the left of the Chinese takeaway on Pelsall High Street, more or less where the co-op is today. The bakery could be accessed by a passage situated between the two buildings. At the end of the passage was the confectionery and the cake bakery. Also in that area were two stables and what was known then as stole holes where fires were kept burning. Back in the 1950s there was a local tramp in Pelsall known as Bert. Considerate of Bert's misfortune, Mr Cumberledge used to leave the stole hole open for Bert to shelter in on cold nights and he also used to leave for him leftover cakes and bread. On one particularly cold and windy November night at around midnight the door slammed out the back of the bakery. The lads smiled at each other and acknowledged that it was Bert. Then, shortly afterwards, the door into the bakery was opened. Surprised, Mr Cumberledge exclaimed loudly, I hope that isn't Bert helping himself. It had been a busy day with the time of year and plenty of flour had settled on the floor. Although there were cold winds and drafts rushing through the bakery from time to time, the temperature in this otherwise warm room suddenly dropped. Then, before their eyes, all four men saw footsteps appear in the flower on the floor. They stood in stunned silence as they watched the disembodied footprints walk over to the dough-making machine. As the footprints came to a halt, the dough mixer stopped and in the flower next to it, fingerprints suddenly appeared. The men were in shock as they looked on. Momentarily, the room stood still. Then, the disembodied footprints made their way back out of the room, taking the freezing cold air back out with them. Back in the village bakery, Mr Cumberledge, Bob, Ray and Tom were lost for words. The footprints were clearly still there. After getting over the initial shock, the four took to taking a closer look at the footprints in the flower. The odd thing was that one of the footprints distinctly pointed outwards quite sharply. Shortly after the incident, news travelled fast around the village about their strange experience in the bakery. Then, to their astonishment, it came to light that it was about 25 years ago to the minute that Mr Harrington had died. And, furthermore, the disembodied footprints must have belonged to him, as not only was the bakery situated exactly where Mr Harrington's shop used to be, but that in his later years Mr Harrington had broken his ankle, which, because it hadn't repaired properly, made his right foot stick out. Mr Cumberledge and his apprentices were convinced that on that day they had experienced the presence of Mr Harrington and moreover have been unshakable on this ever since the event. <laughs>